Greetings Castaways, Castaway Crystal, Rumshaw Brian. We are doing our second edition of our top five. And once again, we're staying close to home because we live where people vacation. And we're here on beautiful Sanibel Island. Look at that, look at that lighthouse right there. Sanibel, Light Sanibel Island right here. And today we're doing our top five favorite places to have lunch on Sanibel. So number one, Ryan, take it away. What is your favorite place to have lunch on Sanibel? Number well, one, in no particular order. So we have places from high class which uh, even a salty pirate likes every once in a while to dive bars. Uh, so we're gonna go through the list. Um, the first one on our list is Doc Fords. So as any pirate like myself, you have to go to a rum bar. Doc Fords is the best rum bar here on Sanibel and maybe in the general Southwest Florida area. Um, they have a great rum selection. They have great shrimp tacos. Um, all the food's good there. They have a restaurant here on Sanibel, up on Captiva, and close to Fort Myers Beach. So, come to Doc Ford's. Uh, they're made famous by a local author, uh, Randy Wayne White. Check it out, look it out, um, fantastic stuff. But check out Doc Ford's for your lunch excursions on Sanibel. Number two is the Thistle Lodge, which resides at the Casa Ebel Resort. It's a little more upscale. But I love this place because this is Thistle Lodge. It's hard to say. The Thistle Lodge. Thistle Lodge. Thistle. It's like you need like your two front teeth. Um, Thistle Lodge is um, an old historic home where one of the first, um, what do you call them? Settlers. Settlers resided um, on Sanibel. Homesteaders. Yeah, homesteaders. homesteaders. And this place this has that old, authentic Florida feel. You can see the beach front right outside the windows while you're having lunch. And then after that, you can totally make a full day of it and then go to their coconut beach. pool bar yeah, yeah. and have a rum runner and then walk the beach and just have a wonderful day on Sanibel. So you're gonna spend some cash there, but it's a beautiful place to stay for your day to have lunch and to spend your day on Sanibel. That's right. It's a great place. You'll definitely feel like you're on vacation, but we love it. Even living local, uh, we like to feel like we're on vacation. Um, another one of our top favorite places to have lunch on Sanibel is Mudbugs. So Mudbugs, I love spicy food. I like Cajun food. And if you love spicy and Cajun food, you have to come to Mudbugs. So jambalaya and gumbo and beignets. And so we were just there and we had some amazing food. We had some grilled oysters and the beignets just melted in our mouths and we were like, we had too many. They're, they're addicting. So good. So if you like spicy, if you like Cajun, come to Mudbugs here on Sanibel Island. And our third one, which is one of those staple hole in the wall bars called the Great White Grill. Yeah, dive bar. And I love this grill, this sports bar even more because it's a Steelers sports bar. Everything is Pittsburgh. If you're from Pittsburgh, if you know Pittsburgh, they have things that not normal people would know about like Yins and Kennywood. You guys talk funny up there. Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, they have like Barstool to have Bradshaw's name on it. Like it's awesome. Like if you're, it's a, cool Steelers if you're bar. a Steelers fan like me, it, you're in heaven when you go to the Great White Grill. So that's definitely a place to check out to have a beer, have some wings and enjoy a great Steelers game. It's, it's a pretty cool little dive bar. And uh, tell us about Grandma Dots, right? Oh, and Grandma Dots. <laughs> Grandma Dots resides more, what's this now? Yeah, south, yeah. South side, I'm not good with directions. The marina, yeah, south marina. And um, it's on the marina. It's another great staple that has that old Florida feel. You feel like you're having lunch on a close-in porch and it's on a marina. And it's close to here, so after you have a spend a day here on Sanibel Beach, right next to lighthouse. the lighthouse, you can go and have lunch at Grandma Dot's or vice versa, go to Grandma Dot's and then come here. It's just a great spot. You will not be disappointed. Yeah, more of a local type feel. So it's the marina bar, so it's kind of outside the tourist area. Um, so you'll you'll really kind of enjoy it. It's, it. You can walk around the, uh, the docks, look at the boats. Definitely a more of a local type feel. Yeah. So, so 
So there you have it. Those are our top five places to have lunch on Sanibel. So next time you come down, check them out and let us know what you think. Cheers. Till next time. Cheers.